Hi guys, it's me Red. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Egyptian princess outfit. And I'm going to, this is for Halloween. I'm going to show you the basic essentials that you're going to need. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a pair of white old leggings or tights. Um, yeah, you're going to need a pair of shoes. I sadly can't show you to make a pair of shoes, but if you want the whole outfit to be done, I'd recommend like some blue flats or anything kind of like a blue colour or a pair of sandals, but I'm using these from an our generation outfit. And I'll be using these ribbons, they're precisely a metre long. So I've got this baby blue one and I've got this gold one. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. I would recommend parent supervision or if a parent could do this for you, but depending on how old you are. And you'll also need your doll for measurements. So let's get into this craft. Okay, so here is one leg off the tight. And then I need to get my doll, Emily. Here we go, my hands are a little messy and the camera's not focusing. Using my doll for measurements, I'm going to measure how long I want the dress to be. It's not going to have any straps, as that was mainly the fashion back then. So I want the dress to be here, that's where I want it to end. So with my scissors, that's where I'm going to cut. to use the other leg for a while we are going to cut the tip off so that you're if it's a pair of leggings you're completely fine but if it's like a uh, like tights just cut the tip off so as you can see the dress is pretty long now i'm going to put the dress to where i want it to fit for this next bit you're going to need some of your baby blue a ribbon and we're going to make this a halter neck dress so it could come up a little bit easier so we need to use our scissors this bit you have to be so careful with guys where the dress is you're going to want to make a little slit with your scissors being very careful not to damage your doll like so so now I've thread that through, we're going to focus with our gold um, uh, ribbon and then we're going to go back to the baby blue in a minute if you have some left over. The gold is going to work as a belt, so you can either have the bow at the front or the back. I would prefer if I had like my bow at the back. And you're going to want to measure it, you're not going to want to use all of it because you might want some for a later craft. You can use glue to hold in position, but it's not, you don't have to necessarily use it. So I want to figure out how tight I want it and what design. So I'm going to cut about here-ish. So I have the rest, then I can tie a small knot or like uh, just to do it up at the back so now you're going to want to get your baby blue ribbon again and measure a piece that's the same size as your doll's head getting my piece I'm going to fit it this is like a crown and I'm going to wrap it around my doll's head and tie it at the back Add some of the spare gold ribbon around your doll to act as like just an accessory. Add your shoes and your doll is done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now, guys. Bye. Red and Emily, out.